cigars, cigarettes, magazines, postal cards. Hey, kiddo, how many more water tanks do we stop at? No more stops before Cheyenne. Do there in an hour. Cracker Jacks, get your pretty postcards, all the scenic wonders of Wyoming. I'm most terrible hungry. Maybe you have some nice candy here. Yeah? Gumdrops, jawbreakers, jujubes, and jelly beans. Well, Benny King's? Yes, sir. King Burley's the only cigarette that gives you a picture of an actress at no extra cost. I'm trying to get Lillian Russell in tight. Oh, Spanish dancer. These jawbreakers is the most prettiest color, I think, maybe. Jelly beans are all different colors and, and easier to handle. I broke a tooth once when I was a kid. So? Your tooths are all there now. These are my second teeth. Cigars, cigarettes, beans, postal card, cracker jacks. The Lewis Casino. That man, he don't like Spanish dancers. What can you expect of a drummer? I think you're the greatest dancer I, I ever saw. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from getting step on the face. Where are you going? Cheyenne. Me too. It is where I am born. Aren't you really Spanish? One half of me is Spanish like the deacon. I grew up in Spain with my mama. But the other half of me is my papa. He lives in Cheyenne. Oh, separated, huh? No, I'm all in one piece. But I got two names. In Barcelona, my mama called me Dolores Casino. But in, uh, in Cheyenne, my papa called me Della Casey. That's a good Irish name. The first man I've got to look up is named Tim Casey, owner of the dispatch. That's right, my Casey. Who are you? Stephen Blaine, reporter for the New York Enquirer. Oh, you don't put me in paper that I am Casey. Oh, no. I'm going to try to get a story on a war that's going on between the cattleman and an outlaw named Arapaho Brown. You tell me about this war? Oh, but first, do you mind if you have some jelly beans? Oh, gee, I don't mind if I do. Thanks. You see, uh... Wyoming is great cow country. But I don't see no cows. Make it fast, make it fast. Get that dynamite in there. We ain't got all day. I can't see why we don't just stick up the train. What do we have to blow up the roadbed for? It's the boss's orders, besides its strategy. We'll pilfer the train leisure-like. The holdup's just a matter of routine. It's the hurrying that takes it out of me. If it's time you're talking about, you'll have enough to take the hall into the bank. I ain't trusting no bank, not with all these crooks around. I work too hard for my dough. This dynamiting will be laid at Rappaho Brown's doorstep when we get done. Yeah, and the next thing you know, Rapp will balk at all these jobs being blamed on him. Quit worrying. We're getting paid good money, ain't we? Besides, Rapp Brown won't show his face to Cheyenne because he knows I know him. All set? Light her up and let her blast. blasting away to Rappaho Brown with both barrels. Why he do this? Because Rappaho's been running the cattleman ragged with his rustling and other forms of lawlessness. But why you want to find out about these cows war? Well, it's my job. You see, getting the whys and the wherefores of controversies and murders makes news. You come all the way out to this strange Wyoming for news? Well, it's not strange. I was born and raised over in the Jackson Hole country. <laughs> <laughs> then you are a native son of a god like me. Oh! in a black bag. Mm, what a beauty. I ain't passing this up. Keep your hands off her. Nothing personal, dude. I'm only making reference to this chunk of gold. You lunkhead. If Arapaho Brown knew you passed this up, he'd demote you. Arapaho! Oh, Brown. Brown's ah! oh, gumdrops. Ten cents. All right. Now, all together, holler your heads off. <laughs> Hey, 
dynamite of the road bed. Now just make yourself comfortable. Brakeman's walking back towards Rollingsburg. It'll take about three hours. When he gets there, he'll wire Cheyenne for a relief train. I tell my pup on this train, he fix you for holding up me. I'll sue the railroad. It's an outrage. It's the railroad's fault. I wait for nobody. I'm responsible for you passengers. Nobody leaves this train. Your train leaves me pretty flat, so I don't stay. The Wyoming Club is giving me a dinner to one of my arrivals, so I arrive. Miss Casino's an actress. This is just like disappointing an audience to her. Sure, so I get there. Well, goodbye, gentlemen. I walk. And I take my valise. Well, it's over 25 miles. Then you take my valise. But, Miss Casino, Dolores, wait. Miss Casey, hey, Della! Will you look at that now? And then my own girl winking and blinking in electric lights. We're the first city in the country to use electricity. No flies on Cheyenne, eh? <laughs> You've done a lot for Cheyenne, Sam. Don't thank me. Cattle business put this town on the map. You are the cattle business. Then you're worthy of the title of cattle baron. <laughs> it bouquets I'm handing out today, boy. <laughs> you deserve a few yourself, Tim. You're putting up a mighty good fight in your newspaper against these James County settlers ruining the rangeland like they are. Don't lick them, Sam. Wrap a whole brown with them. I'll keep trying. I'll keep helping. All right, folks. I think we all better be getting on down to the depot. How do I look? How long since she's seen you? Years and years. She'll find you considerably wrinkled. Ought to have it ironed, huh? <laughs> You're so tired, you can't hardly stand up. Then I sit down. But I keep on going. Oh, my feet, they hurt for the tickets. I'm awfully sorry. I think I'm going to cry, me. <laughs> A wagon. Hey, hello there. Oh, oh senor, stop, senor, stop, stop. Jumping hop toes. Where'd you come from? We were on the Cheyenne train. What'd you do, fall off? No, no, the dynamite, he blow up the trucks. And then the train, she can't climb over the mountains of rocks. And then the banditti, they come and rob me, and I'm in a hurry, so I walk. You don't say so. I do say so. What is it she said? Our train was put out of commission and held up. Rappahoe Brown's outfit. Rappahoe Brown? How do you know it's him? The man, he says so right out loud. Oh, that Rappaho, he's one big brave man just the same. You darn tootin' he is. They'll have to get up early in the morning to fool Rap Brown. <laughs> I hate him like the Dickens just the same. Well, make up your mind, will you? Sure, I, I hate him like the Dickens. Well, now that that's settled, will you give us a ride in, mister? All right, hop in. You will hurry, please. Well, hurrying with this outfit's the thing of doubt. Well, you're going to settle the war between a Rappahoe and a cattleman, eh? Huh? I'm not capable of settling it, but I'm going to try to get to the bottom of it. Oh, Steve, he's not afraid of this Arapahoe bad man. You better be, young fella. I hear old Rap eats a young newspaper reporter every morning for breakfast. I thought cattle barons were more to his taste. Oh, huh? he just sort of nibbles on them fellas. <laughs> what kind of a man is he? That's what I'm going to try to find out. You'll have to catch him first. Now he aiming to do it. Nobody in Cheyenne knows what he looks like. He don't ever come down out of the hills. I may join that band of cutthroats. I don't know if you can. Wyoming Club is real exclusive. I'm in Rappahoe's gang. Oh. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> Disable the trade. Tis an outrage. Tis a federal offense. Tis, tis, that. Well, anyhow, it is a big disappointment. And even hold a banquet in this town anymore with any degree of safety. What with the Rappahoe Brown at the head of these bandits? They're bound to put a serious crimp into the glorious business of cattle raising. How long are we going to stand idly by here? And starve. And that's what we'd be doing if we wait for that relief train to come in. Come on now, get the festivities started before all the poor waiting guests faint away. You heard what he said, folks. Come on in. Come on. Make yourself right at home, all of you. Hey! Cargo here, consigned to the Wyoming Club. Glory, Beaches, Della. Wake up, girl. What way is this to come home? Casey! Oh, Casey, I am so happy! Here, you hold on, hold on here. 
My name's Sam Drummond. This is your father here. Oh, Casey, I love you so much, even if I don't know who you are. I have outgrown my recollection, Della. There's a beauty you are. Oh, Casey, this is Stephen Blaine. He walked with me all the way until this night, nice gentleman with the whiskers, he gave us a lie. Then you must be at Della's banquet, and thank you for bringing her in safe. I'll be happy to have you gentlemen join us. Me go into the Wyoming Club? Why not? It'll be something for a fella like you to talk about. Bub, it'll be something for me to brag about. <laughs> Here! <laughs> I feel shabby beside you. The father of a famous lady should be a gentleman in the swallowtail coat. Oh, no, no. Ever since I'm a little girl, I think of a, a wrinkled old coat and a battered old hat. And a very fine gentleman. That's my Casey. <laughs> Have you got one of them fancy dancing dresses with you? Yes, in my belly. Then go put it on. It's just a queen we'll see tonight. Uh She's a fair senorita and a charm to eat. She's the apple of the eye of every fellow. And everyone calls her Bonita because her name is Anna Donna Della Costa Bella Donna de Dolores. Bella Cassino. She's a tropical number when she dances the rumba to the singing of a fiddle or a cello. And everyone calls her Bonita because her name is Anna Donna de La Costa Bella Donna de Dolores. Bella Cassino. She'll do the bolero on any sombrero and follow it up with the samba. And when she winks her eye, everybody cries, Caramba! She has every amigo from Cheyenne to Oswego, just as silly as a punchy punchinello. And everyone calls her Bonita, because her name is Anna Donna de la Costa Bella Donna de Dolores de la Casina. All right, line up. Back against the wall. We'll make it fast. That man with the black bags here again. You robbed me before, remember? Well, if it ain't the Pullman car cowhand. How do you like it here, Sonny? Well, it's getting a little monotonous. You robbed me already, too, you Rappahoe, are you? I'll take this watch myself. Rappahoe's got one. Why, doggone your hide, Rap wouldn't be found dead with no cheap time ticker like that. You rap round scoundrels won't get away with this. Come on, shell out. I only got two bits. You got your nerve. How'd you get in here? He's here at my invitation. You thieves gonna tell me now how to run the Wyoming club? At your invitation, huh? Yes. <laughs> Ain't you gonna be surprised.
got him cornered. You two stay here and watch that narrow pass. We'll go around back and drive him out. You drive him out, son. We'll pick him off. Come on, Drummond. to surrender. They're fool enough to do it. We'll shoot them down anyway. What I hear, Drummond, that's just like you. If you mean it. Of course I mean it. Hey! Sam Drummond speaking. Come on out and surrender before you're all shot down. It's all right. Come on. For. Ah, don't blame me. This clumsy ox stumbled again me at the exact precise moment when we should have been shooting straight and fast. I, I know it's deplorable, gentlemen, but uh, accidents will happen. Yeah. Sometimes they just happen, and sometimes they just happen. Sometimes. that renegade all over the front page. I've been batting away at Arapaho, but what good does it do? The state officials keep on reading it just like it was a dime novel. Maybe someday we'll bring that story to a conclusion for them. Hmm. Well, young fella, what can I do for you this morning? You must have rather a bad opinion of Cheyenne. Mighty unfortunate that affair last night. Not to a reporter. Do you think I'll find James County as exciting? And what will you be doing up there? I'm going to find Arapaho Brown and get his side of the story. If you take my advice, you'll keep out of that. I'm afraid I'm still taking orders from my editor, Mr. Drummond. You're chasing the will of the wisp. It's a bewitched country inhabited by hobgoblins. <laughs> that stuff's for your junior readers. And here's something for junior reporters. Even a big story don't make good reading if you don't live to write it. Yeah, take it easy, Casey. Take it easy. Maybe you'll find more up there than you expect. See you later, gentlemen. You're not leaving without seeing Della. No, I... I... She's in the parlor. She likes you, son. She told me so in so many words. <laughs> Most of them, I don't understand. <laughs> what was the idea of chasing us last night? That fresh young reporter from New York started it, and I had to go along to make it look right. What are you squawking about? I got you out of it, didn't I? What fellow are you talking about? The one that stood next to Casey's daughter. Oh, you mean the one that said my modus operandi was getting monotonous? Say, that was good. I almost busted out laughing. He's from the New York Inquirer. Going to stoop around James County in Arapaho. If he should stumble on the truth, that'd make fine copy for every newspaper in the country. In that case, I won't be able to get the settlers out, and you won't get paid. Say, that's bad. It's up to you to make it good. He's not coming back. Arapaho Brown's next outrage is going to be the killing of a representative of a New York newspaper. And the press of the country will set up a fine howl. And they'll back up us outraged citizens when we swarm in here and burn them settlers out. I don't know whether you and that murderous scum of yours is going to pass for outraged citizens exactly. But I'm hoping for the best. Just a minute. You're no Alice in Wonderland. Just because them monkeys built a few fences up there... you! They've cut up the rangeland for miles, and you know it. You've got your orders. Well, what are you waiting for? I don't think a rapper was going to stand for having murder laid at his door. Oh, is that so? Well, if Rappahoe wants to complain, let him come on in. 
And I'll have him hung for cattle rustling. I'm still a trifle smart, you know. Just a trifle. Not too smart. Not smart enough to know that old bearded fellow you were riding around with last night was wrapped around his self. Give me my watch. Pop at him from all directions. Place your faces, but those masks sure look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Quite grateful to you fellas. Well, I wondered where you disappeared to. What are you doing up here? I live here, but doggone if I don't think I'm going to move. These hills is getting all cluttered up with inquisitive strangers and cutthroats. Well, come on, son. Come over to my place and we'll get acquainted. And I can decide whether I was right or wrong and undangle you from that tree. Yep. Stop. Here. Here, doggone you, Aggie. Stop scratching, will you? I won't take you out for your morning tender no more. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Oh, I got a bad habit of picking up straight critters and dragging them home. You're my newest. Come on. Say, you're quite a character. I may do a story on you for a little local color. You might make good copy. There ain't no might about it. I'm the best darn copy you'll ever see, you half-baked cub reporter. Yeah, well, what's your name? Rappahole Brown. and helping with the party while we're busy and all get out. Where's the squeak? In the menagerie. And mad and a wet hand. <laughs> well, I was detained, Miss Smith. This here is Steve Blaine from New York City. <laughs> Land of Goshen and me with a face full of nails. <laughs> Howdy. Well, what's the squeak and where's the menagerie? Well, that's what folks calls my house on account of the wild critters I've gathered. <laughs> Squeak's the only one who can't tame. Bound her when she want no bigger than Aggie here. And squeaking something pitiful. Well, come on in and meet her. And don't forget to duck. That's it. Hey, Squeak! I'm home and I found something. Whatever it is, we got one. Dirty. 
he ain't a beauty. Is he on for keeps? No. Nope. I just sort of... He just sort of saved my life, ma'am. I had to, to protect my reputation. Them fellas is raising net again. Why don't you go right down to the courthouse and prove you ain't no part of that outfit? Uh, them cattle barons might prove that I ain't above reproach. Who says you ain't? Why, you're a good horse thief. <laughs> is there any difference? Depends on how you look at it. I came up here for a story, Rep. What I say don't matter. Well, why don't you let me be the judge of that? Sam Drummond's kind of off his feet, Rap. Say, that's a skunk. Is it named after... The richest man in Cheyenne. This here's Thad Fuller. Is he in your story? He's the beginning. I worked for Thad 20-odd years back. Drummond had a broken-down cow outfit near here. He was stocking with stolen cattle. Thad figured he could get rid of him by changing the course of a stream. The source of the water supply originated on Fuller's land, huh? Well, what happened? Thad didn't figure on getting murdered. Did Drummond get away with it? Well, law of retribution wasn't working good. But he got richer, and we up here got poorer. And the settlers came. He started after them, and, well, they sort of elected me head thorn in the side of Sam Drummond. This is all land grant up here. Hmm? And he's trying to get us off by hook or crook. Yeah, but don't forget, Squeak. I've done a little hooking and crooking myself. Sure, because us up here have a habit of getting hungry. Yeah, special for a little steer meat. Well, that's all of it, son. Appears to me like you come a long ways for a short story. You're wrong. This is a pretty fair yarn of persecution, Rappahoe. Uh, providing you didn't stage that hanging. Why, doggone your ornery hide. I know that I should have let them varmints string you up. Now you get out of here before I throw you out. Oh, hold on, Rap. This is my birthday, ain't it? I don't know when's your birthday, and neither do you. Well, I said today is it. And I'm having a dance party tonight to prove it. And I'm borrowing the loan of him as an escort. But he's good as called me a liar. Well, and put to it, you can't falsify faster than a horse can trot. Are you taking sides again, me? Now uh, listen, Rap. You're getting. If you don't mind. Oh, oh. what well, he is a disbelieving, ungrateful, low-down, lunk-headed, no good, but... He's dressed nice. Oh, Rap, he's no wood than that pet skunk, and... Oh, the girls are just die of envy. Yeah. yeah. He would have set you off right pretty at that dance. I think I'd rather... It ain't what you'd rather, young feller. With me, it's what Squeak would rather. And by cracky, you're staying for the dance. Miss Squeak. Would you do me the honor of... You're darn tootin', you big galoot. Just try and lose me. It's ignominious, that's what it is. You know what that means? I give a signal to string him up, and what happens? You dumb fools that wrap round, shoot him right down from under us. I'm giving it to you straight. I gotta have better support. Someone's coming. Rap and his gang, all right. The young fellow's over at the menagerie. We'll try another crack at him. They're having a shindig. Is it a huskin' bee? No, uh, just dancing. Oh, nothing I like better than a huskin' bee. I gotta get that dude. It might not be so easy. Rap's keeping an eye on him. You ain't intimidating that I can't handle that old bird. You didn't do so good this afternoon. We better map our attack out careful. Ah, uh, them hillbillies are scatter like chickens. And if Rapper's so old fire smart, why didn't he do some of his fancy gun when we was holding up the banquet party? He knew I knowed him. He stood there gaping, so scared his tooth was chattering. Come on.
Circle four and danger ahead, lady for the left hand round in the bottom of the right as she comes around. Circle balance, lead for the next and swing all at him. Now you need. Now your partner, boy, you need. Circle four right there. Change right hand, lady for the left hand round, the bottom of the right as she comes around. Two, you're a hold and take a little dance. Swing your partner, everybody swing. Alaman, you left and right, your partner right and left and hurry up, boys, and don't be slow and sit your meal and mix your dough and save a heel and pat your toe and meet your partner and waltz the floor. Alaman, left. Right, partner, right and left and hurry up, boys, and don't be slow and sit your meal and mix your dough and meet your partner and reverse promenade. Big feet long and a bumper struck with a whole floor and everybody jumps down and back. Big feet down, try and watch. Out and left to your left hand and back to part of go right left back. Spit, honey, and promenade. Here I come with the old mess wagon, hind wheel broke in the axle dragon. Spit, you're on the reverse, promenade. Promenade, one and all, around the great big hall. Promenade, promenade, you know where and I don't care. Mark that pretty girl in the chair. Bullet for bullet. I want Steve Blaine. Send him out. Or we'll come after him, women or no women. Come and get him. You've got to draw the fire away from these women. Come back here. You ain't making no bullet bait out of yourself. Just keep farting. Hey, come back here, you. Oh, whacking my whiskers, huh? Eh? That's all, boys. Orders is carried out. With my technique, a donor would be a close corporation compared to him. We better get. We're getting. And then this loony rides out through the gates all by himself. Trying to get away, eh? Oh, we lights out after him. We let him ride himself ragged. And then when I get him in juxtaposition... That's a pretty big word for you, Davidge. Oh, I'm taking a correspondence course in grammar. You improve your mind, eh? Oh, no, my mind is all right. It's just that my talk is crummy. Well, I let them have it with all six. And then, just like you ordered, there ain't any more dude. Davidge, I'm going to coach you now in a stirring account of how Arapaho Brown shot down an innocent young man. Then, Pete... You hop over to the dispatch for Editor Casey. Does that mean I'm going to get my name in the newspapers, too? Certainly, of course. <laughs> You're an eyewitness. Gentlemen, 
The cigars are on me. That's Rap's story, Tim, and I'm convinced it's true. Proves it, sir. The best reason I know for shooting a man in the back is to avoid meeting him face to face. Steve, why these men want to kill you? Well, to keep me from exposing Sam Drummond. You've been making a scapegoat out of Rap Brown and fools out of all the rest of us. Me in particular. Here I've been persecuting an innocent old man. And a lot of poor souls trying to homestead a bit of land. May the saints forgive me. Sam Drummond, leading citizen of Cheyenne, instigator of a reign of terror. Say, Tim, how's that for a headline? Headline, is it? That's printed all over the sheet. Me telling you. Here I had a story right in my lap and I let you beat me to it. Oh, what's the matter with you, Timothy? You could have put the old sheet right out in front of those eastern papers. The dispatch is going to be out in front, Tim. Go ahead and break the story. Oh, Steve, you let my Casey be first with you. No, uh, second. You're first. I get out an extra. And when Drummond blows the dispatch building out from under me, the pieces of both me and the paper belong to Della. Uh-oh. -huh. I'm about to have a visitor. Get out of sight, Steve, till I see what's what with this lad. Morning. What can I do for you? Mr. Drummond wants you over to his office. He's got an item for your paper. An item, is it? That's what he calls it. Oh. I'll be right over. And since you've been doing a bit of legwork with the dispatch, here's the wherewithal to buy yourself a nip. The black heart of you. Steve. Drummond sent for me. He's a thirsty-looking individual. We'll have plenty of time to get there. We? Sure. You will be safe? Why not? If Drummond tries any of his tricks, Steve will be handy outside the door. Oh, but Steve, he can't do nothing. He's dead. But I can go in and haunt him. That's bad business, Sam. You sure Rap killed the boy? I've seen it with my own eyes. It was the cruelest, cold-bloodest murder I ever witnessed. Him, work this thing up big. The Eastern papers are short of copy. I want what I'm about to do to be thoroughly justified. Would you be acting on your own initiative? I mean, be ridden James County of Rap Brown and the settlers in your own way, sort of? Precisely. I mean to take things in my own hands. Not now. In second thought, maybe there's been too much shilly-shallying. I'm afraid I'll have to use drastic methods. I'm your poison. You'll find me amenable. You mean... Amenable means he's on your side. Don't you think you better get that murder in the... Oh, I see you got your watch back. Now, look here, Casey. No, no, not now. Not now do I want any explanations. Uh, I'm sure that uh, some of the jobs that I laid at Rapp's door might be a cause of a, of a libel suit. But whatever's all right for Sam Drummond is all right for me. <laughs> 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 you old fox. Here I've been handling you with kid gloves. Thinking that you wouldn't play ball with me. <laughs> You've got two strikes on me. You're a big man in this town. I'd be a fool not to swing at what's tossed at me. Good. Then get to work. Plaster this murder of Steve Blaine all over page one. I want public sentiment against Arapaho Brown raised to the boiling point. They're going to ride into James County? Without delay. We'll kill and burn those settlers out of there. But it will be your business to make the public believe that a just and irate band of cattlemen rid this territory of cattle thieves and murderers. Man alive. You're the most magnificent scoundrel that's ever been me good fortune to meet. Then you'll stand by me, eh, Tim? I'll write you a story that'll surprise you. And it'll be a lalapalooza, me fine bucko. For it'll be the story of your merciless persecution of Arapaho Brown. He's trapped you into shooting off your mouth. Not now. Now's the time. Did you miss anything? Not a word. You could have knocked me over with a feather. I haven't got a feather. Do like I say, boy. Get out of Cheyenne. Well, this yarn just started. You don't think I'm going to let you scoop me on the finish, do you? You too. You talk and write newspapers while all the time Drummond, he don't stand idle. If Drummond's got a leg to stand on, he's probably using it to get out of town. Have a look at it. Oh, you're both in bad danger. Please don't do this. 
Steve, you won't let nothing happen to my Casey. Now, now, let the boy alone. Go and play the piano or something. Oh. <laughs> I think it's the Dolores Casino side that's scared. I'm banking on the side that's Della Casey. Me, I am scared on both sides. of them to kill an Irishman, or, or does it? It's a cinch as Thomas crawling with Grumman's gun. If they find out he's still alive, they'll make it their business to finish him off. We've got to get out. But the sheriff, the lawman, won't he help us? Oh, he's probably one of Drummond's men. Where do we go? We'll go to James County and Arapaho. Oh, no, my case is too badly hurt. He'll die on the way. Well, we've got to take that chance. You blundering fool. Rain is even more important than Casey. Where are your men now? Down at the livery stable. Get them all over town, the post office, the telegraph. Watch every road. If this story gets out, it's going to be tough. Suppose he does make a run for it. Let him go. We'll follow him. When he gets out into the country, we'll... I got you. Come on, hurry. Well, they leave on a train. Stick it up. You've done it before. You patch him up the best you can, and I'll come back for you. this straight. After we take care of the dude and the girl, how long do we have to wait before we sail into James County? There'll be a big gang coming in the train tomorrow. When they get here, we go. The sooner the better. We'll burn everything in sight. Remember, there's $50 a head for every man you kill. <laughs> no limit, boys. Open season in James County. <laughs> Who are you looking for? I'm looking for the liberty. I'm him. That's the horseshoe pitching team out there. What do you want? I want to hire a team in a wagon. I've got to get my wife to her mother. She's... Oh. <laughs> No wonder you look scared. No time to lose, huh? Help me harness up. Congratulations, young feller. I gotta get a Smithy's liver stable. It's very important. Don't blame your brother. It's soft to sleep in the hay than on one of my tables. <laughs> Said his wife was sick. His wife? Your grandmother. Who? Leads through Walker Pass. They can't get off it. Let's get drumming.
squeak, you're a caution. What are you doing? I'm a Paul Revere and Verat. He wants every man rounded up and over at the menagerie. What for? He's holding a meeting. Gonna ride out and get them drumming buzzards. For what? They stole my feller. Steve Blaine? You reckon they killed him? And broke my heart. And I was aiming on getting Parson Rigby to hitch me to him proper. Why squeak? You didn't even know the young man. Well, marrying him was a darn good way of getting acquainted. Come on, boys. We're going to rap. It's my romance, feller! I've got to have help for a wounded man. Bring him in, Paul. Oh, please help me. Those men, they follow us. Maybe they come here. Hurry, please, hurry, quickly. Take him in the bedroom. I'll get some hot water and bandages. Is this more of Drummond's work? It's only the beginning. I'd have bet my socks the skunks killed you last time. So they aim to do it this time. Are you in trouble, Blaine? Me and all of James County. Drummond and his men are on their way up here now. I just shook them off a few miles back. If they trail you here, we might be able to hold them if somebody gets wrapped in his men. Here they come. Get your gun, boys. Frank, we take care of the formula. Will you? I can stand losing you, but shucks, why does she have to be so galder and purty? is our calling card. Every man jack of us is riding straight into Cheyenne to visit Sam Drummond. Jump in, hop toads, it's Steve. You won't have to go to Cheyenne, Rep. Drummond and his men are shooting up the Whipple place. Why, that low-down murdering? Well, what are we waiting here for? Come on. <laughs>
conviction of Sam Drummond and his associates. <laughs> Squeak, when you learn how to spell, I'll give you a byline. Hey, Steve. This darn seal's gone haywire again. Rap, that's the 14th Notary Public seal you've broken. What have you been doing with them? Branding cattle. <laughs> <laughs> the society column, eh? Now, let me have a look at that. She's my protege, you know. What kind of talk is this? I write him in a Spanish. <laughs> Can you figure that out? <laughs> well, I'm not very good at Spanish, but... Uh, Miss Dolores Casino, having retired from the stage, wishes to announce her affiliation with the dispatch and her subsequent engagement to Stephen Blaine. Oh, no, no, that last part, she's not there. Well, put it in. I'm the editor. You know what, Stephen? I think maybe you edit Spanish like the Dickens. <laughs> <laughs>